today we're going to take a side-by-side -side look at two of the leading soft-sided totes on the overland market coming up Hey, my name's Drew and this is Evergreen Overland. On this channel, we hone our outdoor cooking skills, we showcase 4x4 vehicle modifications, and we do camping and overland gear reviews and matchups, a lot like the one we're going to see today. I have a tendency to obsess about organization when I'm out camping and on the trail. Uh, I come from the kitchen world and there's a term in cooking and kitchens called mise en place, basically meaning in its place or everything in its place. And that's just a technique that I use when I'm out camping and overlanding just to make the trip run as smooth as possible so that whenever you need something you know where it's going to be a place for everything and everything in its place so that brings us to the topic we're going to talk about today which you can see behind me we're going to take a look kind of side by side at two of the leading uh, soft-sided totes that are on the market one is offered by ARB and one is offered by Front Runner. Let's go ahead and take a look. So I keep talking about it and I swear it's coming, but uh, I am in the process of building out a new bed organizer for the back of the Tundra. And in doing this, I'm kind of using a system of rather than having drawers like my old build had, I'm going to go to a tote system where I'm using multiple different totes. Each tote kind of has its own job and uh, I'm hoping to design that in a way where the totes are easily accessible by both the back side of the truck at the truck tailgate as well as the side hatch in the habitat. Another consideration I have for all my gear storage is I didn't want these bottomless totes that I could really honestly overfill if I wanted to. Um, I wanted something that was going to kind of put some restraint on how much I'm going to be bringing with me. So I didn't end up with five or six of these bad boys, probably overloaded with gear that is probably not essential for the trip. So I started looking for totes and I came across the idea of doing soft sided totes. I already said it before and now I mean it. Let's start diving into these different bags. We're going to take a look at how they are similar and also how they are different. So both these bags can be used as just part of a larger system from both different companies uh, in slightly different ways. But the front runner bag, fully assembled, comes out to 17.1 inches long by 12.2 inches deep and 7.9 inches tall. So basically 17 by 12 by 8 for the most part. Um, and the interior volume is 23 liters. Just to give you an idea, if you're a backpacker, you probably can relate that to the size of your backpack and all that kind of stuff. And these are designed to be a standalone, but also to work with their Front Runner Wolfpack, which is a hard-sided tote. So you can just kind of give yourself a little bit more protection on the inside if you wanted to put these inside that that wolf pack. I don't personally have one. I've never played with one. I don't know if this fits in there perfectly or if it fits in there like halfway and then it's got a couple inches on the side for extra room. I'm not sure, but it's part of their, you know, system of, of totes and everything like that. And I believe the front runner packs are designed to be, you know, mounted to all their different rack accessories and all that kind of stuff. The ARB cargo gear totes or whatever the heck they're called, I'll link it in the description below. These are sized specifically to fit in their drawer systems really well and kind of Tetris in in different configurations depending on what you need. So, you know, you can have their pull out drawers and then set a small, a medium size and then their larger size and just kind of, uh, you know, fit them around and make them work for what you need. Both of these totes are designed to kind of collapse and fold pretty flat. I mean, it's probably an inch thick, you know, either way you look at it. I'm not really going to be using them that way, but I could, I could see where it would be beneficial. Both bags use kind of a rigid inside liner that goes in the very bottom to, you know, give that uh, structural support to the base and kind of hold the edges assembled. The ARB just does it with this, you know, nice uh, fabric lined insert. I'm not sure what's on the inside of these. I'm guessing it's some sort of like, you know, thin polymer material or cutting board material or something like that. I mean, it's pretty thin. That just goes in there and gives it some support. The front runner packs do kind of the same thing. They fold out. See, there's only one size of the front runner packs. Now this base is completely sewn into the front red edge and you have Velcro sewn all the way along the inside lip of that that meets up with a, uh, you know, the hook and loop, the other side of the Velcro on each individual wall which closes this whole thing off. Take the time and make sure you seat it really well. And it holds quite a bit of weight for sure. I mean, I haven't maxed this out. That's the idea. 
On one side you have the nice fabric, and on the inside it's coated with like a spill resistant vinyl. Now I'm gonna switch over and start taking a look at this bigger ARB. Now, like I said before, the ARBs come in three different sizes. Now the smallest one here is 16 and three quarter inches wide by six and a half inches deep and uh, just over seven inches tall. It's 7.09 inches tall. All three of their sizes are the same height. Now their medium one, which I don't have, comes in at 23.62 inches wide, 7.87 inches deep, and that's 7.09 inches high. And the large puppy here comes in at 15 and a quarter by 15 and a quarter by 7.09. So this big one here is actually going to be my uh, food pantry and cooking spices and that kind of stuff. I'm going to empty it out here actually into one of my other front runner packs so you can see some of the components on the inside that are a little unique and cool. Both units are made out of a 600D polyester nylon. They feel pretty durable. I've been throwing them around for a little while. They are holding up pretty dang well. If you flip the lids open on either one of them, you're going to get kind of a different combination of little pouches. So the smaller unit in the ARB has two little mesh pouches secured by Velcro. The larger unit in the ARB has four, same thing, secured by Velcro. And then the front runner has two similar pouches with a little bit more give to them. Uh, so you could probably shove some more stuff in there and expand, expand them a bit, little bit. Same Velcro little latch to secure them closed. And then what's cool about the front runner is actually the zippered pouch here. It's, it's kind of cool to have this little zipper area here, just something different. Maybe there's some reason why you'd want to uh, have something zippered rather than just a little Velcro. Now both ARB and front runner, come standard with a couple different name plates. Each pack comes with a little set of cards that you can use to give your pack some identity so you know what's inside of it. You can either use the supplied pre-printed ones which are cooking, recovery, tools, and electrical, or they give you a couple of blanks that you can fill out in any way you want. A little different for the front runner, bathroom, tools, kitchen, recovery. And then on the back, same thing, little blank canvas, you can put in whatever you want. Now they're all made with nylon reinforcements around the edges and handles and all that. Both come with uh, dividers on the inside. The front runner has Velcro strips that run front to back, kind of centered the first five inches in from the center each way. The ARB come with two, the large one. I'm assuming the medium size one comes with one divider rack and the small one did not come with any. Both use pretty dang sturdy YKK zippers for sure, while the front runner seems to be just a little bit bigger and beefier. The ARB has uh, this additional little loop on theirs that kind of helps you be able to grab it and in and out really quick. I like that a lot um, for sure. I'll eventually put some sort of toggle on the front runner uh, with paracord or something like that. But that's a pretty cool feature from the ARB, just making it really easy to get in and out. So those are, for the most part, the similarities I've been able to find with these. And we'll start talking about the differences now. As far as the base goes in the front runner, uh, this base is not completely sealed in there. It's really heavy duty Velcro. So the only thing that really makes the bottoms different is it's not a fully sealed bottom. Where in the ARB, similar to the small bag, you have this piece that you can insert in there to give it that rig rigidness. Now, both technically have, you know, a base that's vinyl coated, so spills and all that kind of stuff won't stick around as long. The ARB, the insert is all of the same 600D poly nylon, but the base itself is a vinyl and it's completely sewed in around all sides. What's cool on the bottom of the ARB is they have these four little texture gripped rubber feet to give it a little bit more, you know, grip from sliding around, but also a little protection when you're throwing it around. The front runner doesn't really have any of that. And I could definitely see, you know, if I'm throwing these around in the dirt quite a bit and all that kind of stuff, they're, they're probably both going to start breaking down around the edges. I mean, abrasion and all that kind of stuff. But uh, these have not been um, treated politely moving around in my garage for the past couple of months. And uh, they're holding up pretty well. As far as the carrying handles, they're actually pretty different, honestly. So with the front runner, you have a little sewn nylon loop carrying handle on every single edge of this, as well as one at the top. They're pretty sturdy. They're, they're double stitch and double sewn. Um, they're not going anywhere, but I do really like the ARB ones. Yes, they're made out of that nylon webbing, but they have like a inserted hard PVC or, or something uh, right here that gives you a really nice flat purchase, kind of like a, a Yeti cooler would have or something like that, where they have that piece of plastic that's gonna help you so you're not hurting your hands on it. And uh, so they do that on both the, the two sides of it. 
and then a really nice rubberized grab handle on the front face of it that you can just grab and take around. Now on the smaller one, you can see that uh, it has those same handles on the side, but the one on the front, for some reason they did a slightly different design. It's just nylon webbing here folded in half. Maybe it's for fitting in the drawers the way they needed it to. Maybe there's some other reason, but still has those really nice grab handles on the side and still another handle on the front, which is cool. One thing I did forget to mention is that uh, whatever material is in the tops and the bases of these things is also sewn into to the side edges and they're just rigid. So they're both soft-sided rigid totes. So you guys kind of saw a little bit of a peek at how I organize my pantry and all that kind of stuff in the ARB unit. Uh, this one right here, front runner is my bathroom and kind of hygiene unit, not personal hygiene. That would probably go in your own bag, independent bag, but just kind of bulk hygiene products. So really nice. I don't have this outfitted yet because all of my camping gear is still exploded everywhere from the move and there's really no need to load all these up until I get the truck bed organizer that's back there right now finalized and installed in the truck. Right now this is just my uh, tote with you know cords for the wrap on green toilet, the coagulant powder, TP, sanitizer, all that kind of stuff. Just some of the bulk hygiene stuff that you're gonna need, bug sprays and that. And it fits in there really, really well, but it also is a small enough area where, you know, it's reasonable. I mean, that's gotta be under, under 10 pounds for sure. Um, and I couldn't fit a ton more in there bulky. And I might be able to shove some soft stuff in there, but uh, it's not gonna add too much more weight even if I max this thing out. I have, uh, this one is going to be, doesn't say it yet, but it'll say blue or something like that. And it's uh, gonna be my dog's tote. So this is gonna need to have, her blanket will probably live in the truck, but I shoved it in there during the move. This is her shop blanket because she's a princess. So uh, yeah, it'll have all of her dog food, probably a toy, her, uh, her lead maybe will go in here little spray bottle because she tends to bark without being checked. And what I've also planned for these front runner totes is two of them are going to be uh, for my wife's stuff. So I'm giving her two for, you know, clothing and stuff like that, because let's face it, I can probably go most of a camping trip or or whatever, even a week, week and a half or whatever with only a couple pairs of clothes. She could probably do the same, but I want her to be comfortable and I wanna give her a little bit more room to pack whatever she needs to bring. So two of those are gonna be her clothing. One of them is gonna be my clothing. Uh, one of them is gonna be the dog stuff. The other stuff is gonna be bathroom. Now, as far as the ARB containers go, you already saw this. This is gonna be my pantry and cooking spices and all that kind of stuff. Basically anything that houses any food containing thing, any edible containing thing, because this is gonna live in the truck and I am gonna have a separate tote for you know all the uh, utensils and pans and pots and all the stuff that isn't necessarily edible that I can leave out. I wouldn't wanna leave this out, out at night for rodents or raccoons or bears or anything like that to grab at. So this is gonna be my inside food tote. This little guy here, well, this little guy I bought four primarily because it was the perfect size to fit in with what I was, uh, I had a void in the area. So in my organizer, which you will see, I have the fridge below and then basically two racks, two different shelves that'll house all these uh, six front runner racks and two ARB cargo basket totes. And I got two shelves that'll house all six of these front runner totes and then two of the ARB cargo totes. Now I'm doing this video not to tell you which one is better or worse or uh, which one I'd choose over the other. They both serve the purpose they are built for pretty dang good. I would say that uh, if I was gonna go with something that was gonna house like recovery gear and some really heavy stuff, I would probably lean more towards the ARB cargo gear tote uh, just because it's got the bulky handles, it's got a completely sewn in um, base to it, and uh, you know the front cargo carrying handle here that's super, super beefy. Um, that's what I would probably lean to for anything that's gonna be a little bit heavier. For the most part, they're both really, really well built. Really, for the most part, the decision to go with one or the other, uh, if you're just using them as a standalone unit, is probably the space and volume that they take up um, and how you're gonna configure your layout. So I'm mix and matching it. I'm pretty excited how it's all gonna turn out. I hope they all fit and I can get them out. Uh, 
you know, I think with them being soft, they'll have a little bit more give and flex and wiggle to uh, being able to pull them out of a pretty tight area. But so uh, I'm excited to show you guys that when it's all done. Like I said before, I really do tend to obsess about organizing my gear. I definitely have a little bit of an unhealthy relationship with buying new totes and bags. There's no doubt about it. I think most of us really love gear. We like playing around and testing it. I hope you took away something from this. I hope it was entertaining. I hope it kind of gave you a little bit more information on some of the questions that I had when I was looking at these things and which ones I would go with. If you like the video, please consider mashing that like button to let me know I've done a good job. Consider subscribing to the channel so you can be notified when a new video comes out. Right now I'm putting videos out once a week. If you want to follow me over on Instagram, it's at Evergreen Overland. I have evergreenoverland.com where I put up some blog stuff and different things like that occasionally. Primarily my channel is YouTube based though. Um, I definitely appreciate you watching. My wife just pulled in. I'm gonna go help her get the dog out of the truck, edit up some video, and finish out my night. Thanks for watching.